Hi everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, welcome. Well, fall is just around the corner and everybody's already doing their fall DIYs, so I decided to get on board and start doing my own. I won't be using these fall decor just yet. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer, but I did wanna create for you these fall outdoor decor. And it's the ones back here. I'm gonna be creating this little step ladder and also this floral decor right here that can be hung over your front door. And also this back here, this is a faux wooden barrel planter. I have several outside in my yard because I absolutely love them. So I decided to create one for you that it's not real wood, it's just a faux wood planter. So if you wanna see how I create these fall outdoor decors, then please keep watching. But before we get started, I'm just gonna ask if you can please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also you'll click that bell icon, you know, right there in the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. And also I just wanna thank each and every one of you that's been supporting my Spanish channel. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. For those of you that don't know, I do have a Spanish channel called Latina DIYer Hazlo Tu Mismo. I will be linking it down below in the description box so that you can go and check it out if you haven't already. All right, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. For the first fall outdoor decor will be a rustic vintage stepladder. And these are the items that I use from Dollar Tree. The first thing is this wooden puzzle and you can find this in the toy department. And I'll be using two of these. I'll also be using four of these children's shovels and they do have a wooden handle. And I'll also be using some acrylic paint and this is antique copper, some Waverly chalk paint and the color mineral some Waverly chalk paint in the color agave, and this color in chocolate bar, and a few of these wooden pieces from this tower game, some gel super glue, and also some Gorilla wood glue. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna remove the little puzzles out of this square piece of wood. I'll be using the smooth surface from this piece of board. I'm gonna be marking a straight line down the center of the board. Next, I'm gonna take it outside and cut it in half. And here are three pieces that I thought I was gonna use, but I really just used two. One mistake that I made is I should have glued the puzzle pieces on there. That way it would have been better reinforced. And you'll see what I'm talking about a little later on. The next thing that I'm gonna do is sand them down. Next, I'm gonna paint them with the Waverly chalk paint in the color Agave. I'm only gonna give these one coat and then I'm gonna let them sit out until they dry. I'm also gonna paint the back side. Next, I'm gonna work on the ladder frame and the first thing that I'm gonna do is remove the shovel part off the handle from all four shovels. And so let me tell you what I did. I tried to remove the label off the handle and I couldn't. So I ended up using this Goo Gone and let me tell you, it stained my piece of wood. And here are all my four handles, and here I'm just showing you how that Gugan stained my pieces of wood. Okay, so I started off by gluing the top of the two handles and forming an A. Now I use the super glue gel, hoping that they would stick quickly, but it really didn't work very well. The next thing that I did is add some of that wood glue there at the top and then added a piece of wood from the tower game and placing it there across both sticks. 
And for added reinforcement, I added another piece of wood right underneath. And then I made sure that I wiped off all the excess glue. I made another A-shape frame, but I also want to show you that I also added two of those boards on both sides of the sticks as I'm showing you right there. Okay, so now that I've glued all the pieces together, I'm going to set some weight on them and let them dry until the next day. Next, I glued two pieces of wood using the super glue gel. And I made one more set like this. And I'm going to set these aside and let them dry for a few hours. Okay, so now that the glue has dried, I'm ready now to start adding these two pieces of wood. And they're gonna go across as I'm showing you right there. And this is just to reinforce it and also just to give it some character. And I'll be gluing them down with some more wood glue. Next, I'm gonna give these a few hours so the glue can dry. Okay, so I'm ready now to start adding the little pieces of wood that are supposed to be the steps to the ladder. And what I'm doing there is just marking off somewhere in the center of the wood because that is where I'm going to glue the A-frame. And I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. I'll be using some E6000 and some hot glue. Okay, so this is where I discovered that I had made a mistake. Um, when I placed the A shape, I realized that the piece of puzzle actually needed to be there. That way, it, I had a smooth surface. So I had a difficult time keeping this leveled while the glue was drying. And then I added some more hot glue there in the crevice. And here I've put a level up at the top just to make sure that it would dry leveled. And now for the opposite side, I am gonna glue down that puzzle piece. That way my board will be nice and straight and leveled. Okay, so here's mistake number two. I didn't take account that the board was gonna be too wide for the bottom. So I needed to cut it down. So here I'm just gonna measure it and then I'm gonna have to cut the bottom step board. I will go ahead and put down all the measurements down on the description box. And I used a hacksaw blade to cut this piece of board. Okay, so once that I cut the board, I placed it between the A-shaped frames and I'm gonna hot glue these small pieces of wood and put them underneath the board as I'm showing you right there. And I'll be doing that to all four sides. And since I had that extra piece of board, I ended up just putting it there on the top and I just add some E6000 and some hot glue and then I placed it on the top. You don't have to do this. I just felt since I had this extra piece of board, it would just give the top board just some reinforcement. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is paint all the ladder. Now that the paint is dry, now I'm gonna start distressing it. I used the dry brush technique and I started with the color Mineral. And this is how it looked once I added all that color. Next what I'm going to do is just sand down that color just to make it kind of blend with the blue. And now I'm going to distress it some more and I'm going to be using the copper and the brown paint. And for that, I'm going to use one of these scrub sponges. And so what I'm going to do is mix both colors together and then I'm just going to start dabbing in different areas on the ladder, especially on the corners. And this is how it turned out. And for the second DIY, I'll be creating this floral arrangement that can be used in your front door. And these are the items that I'll be using for this project. I'll be using this plastic rake, and this was in the children's summer toys. So if this is a project that you wanna do, I suggest that you go to your Dollar Tree and go grab one before they're gone. 
a piece of burlap material. This was something Dollar Tree had last year and it is the metal words. Now I'm gonna be using the word harvest, but I'm gonna use it as a stencil. Some Waverly chalk paint in the color agave. Some metallic paint called antique copper. And this acrylic paint called burnt umber. And a mixture of florals, but especially some sunflowers. Okay, so I started using the copper color to paint my rake but I quickly realized that it was too sheer. So I moved on to the burnt umber and what I'm gonna do is just paint the whole rake and also handle. I'll be giving this one coat and then I'll let it dry and then go back and do a second coat. You can use spray paint, but I just decided to use the paint that I already had. Okay, so now that the second coat of paint had dried, I'm gonna add now some of that antique copper only to the top part of the rake. And this is how it turned out. Next, I'm gonna create a sack so that it can hold my flowers. I was actually inspired by Megan from Glue Gun and Roses. She made something similar to this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this burlap in half as I'm showing you right there. Next, I'm gonna hot glue the edge and also the bottom. Now I'm gonna turn my sack inside out. And now I'm gonna fold it as I'm showing you there. I did make the edge look raw by just pulling on some of the thread. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is stencil in the word harvest. And this is from the Dollar Tree Fall Metal Words. And once I remove the metal word, this is how it looks. Okay, now that the paint has dried, and now I'm gonna stuff my sack with this brown paper. Then I added the florals to the sack. And this is how it turned out. I'm really liking the sunflowers. The next thing that I did is I used some floral wire to attach my sack onto my rake. And for extra hole, I added some hot glue. And then once I was done, I turned it over and this is how it turned out. For the third DIY, I'm gonna be creating this rustic faux wood barrel planter. And these are the items that I'll be using. The first one is this trash can, and I purchased this one at Dollar Tree. And a pack of two aluminum foil cake pan, and here I'm just pointing out that I'll be using all the edging of the pens. I'll be using several acrylic paints, so I'm gonna go ahead and list them down in the description box. Okay, so I'm gonna start painting my trash can and I'm gonna start with burnt umber. And I'm also gonna paint the inside, but just halfway. I'm only gonna give this one coat and then I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna give it a second coat, but I'm gonna use a different color of brown. It's called Chocolate Bar. And now I'm gonna let this coat of paint dry. Okay, so once the paint was dry, I started to paint black lines. And what I wanna do is give this a faux wood look. And so I'm gonna go all around the trash can painting these black lines, and they're about four inches apart. And this is how it turned out once I was done. Okay, so then I started to distress my trash can, and I started with the color Classic Caramel, and I just dried brushed it all around. Next, I added the black paint. And this is how it turned out. I did go a little bit heavy on the black in certain areas. The real wooden barrels have these black metals that go around them, so that is what I'm gonna create with this aluminum foil pans. And I'm gonna start by cutting the strips as you see me do right there. And here are all my strips, and these are from both pans. 
Next, I'm gonna fold the edges about half an inch and I'm gonna use my ruler so that I can have a straight line. And I'll be doing that to both sides. Once I folded both edges, I ended up with a strip with about an inch in width. And I'm gonna follow the same steps to all of these. Next, I'm gonna flatten them out using the handle of this screwdriver. Next, I'm gonna paint them with a the color black. And then I'm gonna let them dry for just a few hours. Before that I glue them, I just wanna show you that I've given these strips just a curve as I'm showing you right there. And they're very easy to mold because it is foil. I'm gonna add some super glue and hot glue and then I'll place them all around my trash can. So I'm gonna do the first top row and then I'll do the second bottom one. And once I was done, this is how it turned out. And before that I add the floral, I'm gonna start adding some uh, trash bags in there just so that it can be a filler. And then I just started adding all my florals. I really love how these sunflowers look. And once I was done arranging them, this is how it turned out. for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.